Hello, 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 guys. How are you doing? I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. All right, so I made a video, I think, uh, maybe uh, about two years ago, where I was speaking on the issue of paying your family tax. Um, I used to do a number of videos um, for that series I was doing on, on the veranda. And one of my topic was pay your family dues. And I want to expound a bit on it because I saw a video on social media. A friend of mine shared a video on social media on Facebook. And the video was speaking of um, family members who will rush to help with your burial. But if you are in trouble, they will not assist you financially. And the person was making um, a statement on that, um, referring to some family members who, if you ask them for money to go to the hospital or to go to the pharmacy to purchase medication, they will find all sorts of excuses. And if you die, if you should die, they will find the money wherever it is to come to Jamaica to assist your funeral. And she was saying that um, you have to bury, but you know, have to live. And that was our concern. And it's a concern a number of us in Jamaican have, right? Um, we're, we have seen it in our communities, in our families as well, where persons do not um, share that interest in assisting you in your financial um, endeavors, in your entrepreneurial ideas. With, um, they would not assist you to go to, to further your studies or to even complete your high school diploma. Um, but they will come to assist you if there's a death in the family. We all know it too well. And, 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 and I, I'm sure it is nothing that is unique to us as black people. I know it is something that affects other ethnicities, um, other uh, um, cultures across the world. All right, it's not limited to a particular country. Um, wherever in the world you go, on all seven continents, you will find the same situation where persons are saying, look, um, I want the opportunity to do this. I did not get it, but, but the help was given when someone died. The title of the video I did um, about two or three years ago was Pay Your Family Tax. What I was trying to point out is that when you make it in life, um, you should pay your taxes. The same way in which you, um, you go to a work and uh, you pay your, your, your tax, right? Your, your boss is going to do your statutory deduction, which is to take out your NIS, your NHT, and the education tax. All right? Those taxes go to government. Your NHT... Um, will help you later on when you want to buy a house, your NIS. Um, the NIS help you with, um, if there's a death in your family after retirement, you get back something. I'm, I'm not an expert in statutory deduction, but I know that it goes towards your own benefit at the end of the day. All right, yeah, education tax and all of those things. So you pay your taxes. So you contribute back to your society. All right, good. The same way when your family assists you in reaching somewhere in life. I think it is fair enough to assist those who are behind you, or those who are in need of help. For example, let me give you an example of what do I mean by help those who are behind you. Um, it's not behind you as in, um, in order of importance, um, not behind you because um, they are less a human being than you are, but behind you in the sense that they are behind you in age. Give an example. For example, your siblings. If you are, for example, the first child, I think it is your responsibility to help those who are behind you, like the younger ones who are behind you. For example, let us say you are five years apart or six years apart. You go to college then it is fair enough for you to help your younger sisters go through high school, to help out your parents, um, assisting them. You could buy books for them. You could buy pencils for them. 
you could give them lunch money to go to school, you could assist and pay for their graduation, things like those, right? Um, what if you're not the oldest one? What if you're the second of three or second of four and you make it out before the older one? Look for those who are before you and behind you, all right? So if you make it to go to the States, for example, you, you get a chance to go to America or Canada I'm looking for countries where the inflation is, is, is higher, where the uh, exchange rate is higher. Um, Canada, um, America, in Europe, the euro is um, the second highest currency in the world, I think so. Um, you go to England, you go to um, Cayman. The Cayman Islands is good because Cayman dollars um, island the US. You go to Bahamas, you go to the British Virgin Island. Wherever you go where the money is greater than Jamaica, where you are spending US and other currencies, help those who are behind you, assist them, all right? Send back money to help, especially your parents, especially your parents. I used to say, it, I, I used to say, and I've said it on, video, on videos before, that oh, you, your parents should be able to take you to court for, for, for maintenance because your, 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 you, your parents um, was able to um, take each other to court for maintenance. Like for example, your mother would take your father to court for child maintenance. I think then now that you're a, a big person, your parents should be able to take you to court for maintenance. And then someone um, texts me to say that yes, it is a part of Jamaican law. Um, parents are able to take children to court for maintenance. I have not done any research on it, so I can't give you any concrete information. But I heard that it is no legal for parents to take children to court. And it is rightly so, because a number of parents have sacrificed themselves um, to get you through high school. As a matter of fact, let's go right back to you being a baby. And there's a reason why we can't be ungrateful to our parents, right? Especially if they take care of us. Um, the amount of pampas you would have used, or even if you were born before the pampas era, um, the amount of nappy that goes on your bottom um, and the amount of washing because the nappy is far more um, work work um, centered than the, the nappy. The nappy is far more work centered than the diaper because the diaper you can throw it in the bin but the nappy you'd have to wash it out, soak it in bleach water, uh, wash it out or, or blue soap water whatever it is that they use and wash it out and to put it to the sun to dry again for you to be using. And that's a lot of work. And consider that for years. Um, the amount of feeding you would have used, the, the porridge that you wanted to drink, the sacrifice to wake up, the, the amount of crying that you make at your head, uh, waking them up in the night. And I've expressed that for myself, personally with my daughter. Um, sending you to basic school, sending you to primary school, sending you to high school, and millions of dollars out of them. And uh, sometimes even sending you to college. All right, look at the amount of years. You, you're with your parents until you're 18 years old after you finish high school. Look, the amount of money they spend on you. Um, if you should add it up, it's, it's a millions of dollars. It is only fair for you to take care of your parents when you grow older. And there are a number of family members who, there are a number of parents who have children overseas and they're not getting any assistance from them. All right? And that is very bad. And guess what? When the parent should if the parent should pass away, God forbid, um, they will be here and they're buying goats, and they're buying cows, and they're buying alcohol for everyone to drink. And they want it to look good. All right? They want to take the shame out of their hide to say, oh, you know that um, the parents pass away and the children are overseas and nobody um, give her a good burial. In some countries, we know that uh, a big funeral is not important. All right? Um, for example, in America, we see where sometimes five or six persons go to the funeral. And that's it. They just go to the graveside, uh, the pastor officiate the body, the service, and that's it. All right. But we in Jamaica, we're used to big funerals. All right. Big funerals. And that's coming out of the, our African heritage. That's the reason why when Corona came in and we had to resort to, oh, 15 person at the graveside, it was very new to us because we do not used to it. The Americans are. All right. So we have to adopt the American um policy where you just have um two or three persons at the graveside and that was it um so it was difficult for jamaicans to bear through that uh, because we're used to large funerals 
So we will do that for them when they pass away, but while they were alive, we kind of treat them very poorly. The video I did about paying your family tax, I think it was a very wonderful video um, because even today it remains relevant um, and will always remain relevant because the number of these issues we're facing is not unique to us. Generations are coming are going to face the same problems. As a matter of fact, generations gone before, a number of generations gone before um, experience the same thing where you, you find parents not being treated fairly by their children and when they when they passed away um, the children will spend a number of money to buy them expensive um cask cake um eating during the two weeks or three weeks of setup sometime one month and then a, a nice funeral and eating after the funeral all right and when they were alive they were not getting that much attention I think, just being hypothetical here, I don't have the concrete evidence to say it, it is so, but just being hypothetical, I think to myself that this situation of parents treat children, putting parents poorly and not paying their family taxes is going to get worse. Uh, why would I say that? And let me just give you a rational explanation as to why I think it's going to go um get worse and remember this is just an hypothetical reasoning it's just a hypothesis um so you can't say um i say it is going to be so i'm just reasoning along the line for argument's sake right so when i look in society and i'm seeing where jamaican um, the jamaican family is predominantly single parent and we're coming out of a, an environment where we used to have mostly um, marital homes where you get married you have your children yes there used to be one and two um, extramarital affairs there used to be um, persons living without getting married but predominantly it was married couples having relationships and the children who were born outside of wedlock were called if the, if the husband have a child outside she, that child would, have, would be called a, a bastard and that was a derogatory term that nobody wanted to be called you know because man, and man men were still having children on the outside of their relationships out of their matrimonial home all right it is nothing new to jamaican society <clears throat> but there was a stigma attached to those who were born outside of the matrimonial home they were called bastard nobody wanted to be called a bastard the parents didn't want the children to be called a bastard. So what I heard used to happen, and I have no concrete proof of it. I'm just saying what I heard. And what I heard used to happen is that <coughs> the mother of the child would send the child to the husband's house and the wife would grow the child. I've heard of that situation, right? One, if the child is born outside, and I've also known of that situation as well. I know somebody who did that where the, 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 the mother sent the child to the father's house and the wife will take care of the child. Um, in some cases, that child is treated unfairly because the child is an outside child and, and a constant reminder to the woman, to the wife, that her husband went outside the relationship. Oftentimes, that does not work well, especially for the child, all right? But when we look at society today, we're seeing where it's predominantly single parent family we're having in Jamaica. Out of this single parent family um, being more predominant, predominant means it's, it's more. Um, you can find more of it. If I should say, okay, if there were 100 families in Jamaica, we could say, okay, 70 is single parented and 30 has a mother and a father inside the home are married couple partners inside the home then that would be predominantly single parented because 70 which is more than 30 would be the number which represents the amount of single parent families we have in the country i don't have the statistics now but i heard the last time that it was um somewhere between 60 and 80 percent i would have to go and do the research i updated research because the research i did could have been um 
at least 10 years old. But something you go on, the, on, on Google and you do some research, you have to be very careful. You have to look at the date in which research was done because sometimes I too might grab a research which is 10 years old. And maybe if you get a research which is um, two years old, it, it probably be different from the one that is 10 years old because it would have been a more recent study. It could be more, it could be less. And I think, based on what I'm seeing in Jamaica, that it is getting worse. Single parent family is more predominant. In that case, where we have parents or fathers, and, and most of these single parent family, we know that they are mothers, the, the mother who is the head of the family. Um, usually it is a father who is, who is absent. In some cases, yes, you have the mother who walk away from the family and the father raise the children. That is only a few in comparison to the amount of fathers who leave the mother. Or maybe it was not even there. Maybe it was a visiting relationship. Maybe it was she who got pregnant um, from a one-night stand and now have a child. Or in most, in a number of cases, we see where the man just come, have some sex, and there's a baby, and that was it. Or he was there, then comes a baby, and he's no longer there. It is, in a few cases you might find where they were married before, and then there's a divorce. All right? Mostly, it's always mostly about uh, we were in a relationship, and a baby comes, and he's no longer here. You know, kind of things, you know? Whatever the cause of it is, it still boils down to the fact that it is the, it is one parent inside the house. When that usually happens, what you find is that that child is now growing up um, with an appreciation for one parent and an, and, a, and an unappreciation for the other parent. The child is growing up to like the mother who, she, who he or she lives with and probably, possibly don't really like the father who um, helped to bring he or, he or she here. Right? Because the father is very important in bringing the child into the world. Right? <laughs> yeah, right? Both of them come together to have the child. But you normally find that one parent always get more respect than the other one. And the one which is present is usually the one who get the respect. In a case like that now, if the child should, be, should graduate from college and go to university and be somebody, as we, we normally say in Jamaican society, you want to be somebody. If you have advanced... Um, economically, where you you have a good you get a good job, a stable job where you're able to earn, you're able to pay your bills, you're able to own your own assets. Whether whether that asset could be a car, that asset could be a house, asset could be furniture in your house, whatever the asset might want to be, it could be land, whatever investment it want to be, um, you're not able to own asset of your own, so you're not independent. In that particular case you're going to see where the father who was not present is not going to get any help from the child. And now we find our society now where a person is going to say, look how the boy not treat him father right. Or look how the girl don't treat her father right. All right? They're not checking to find out that the father was not present. All right? And so when we see the father struggling because he, in, in a number of cases, he may have spent his money um, womanizing, as we call it in Jamaica, having girls all over the place. It could have been where he was a drinker and he would have drank a number of his cash at the bar. It could have been a case where um, he was just a traveler who liked to have party and go all over the place, enjoying himself. It could have been a case where he had invested his money somewhere else and um, suffered a bad deal. All right? It could be that old age um, catches up on him and he's not able to do what he used to do before. Whatever the reason is, um, that child is not going to pay that parent, whether it is the mother or it is the father, any much attention. And the society is going to say, look how the child grew up and is negligent of his or her mother or father, whichever the one on the outside is. So, and, and, and here we are again saying that children don't care of don't take care of their parents, you know. But it could have been that the child is not going to do it because the child is going to say within in his or herself, when I wanted money to go to school, where were you? You were not there. 
All right. So the child is overseas then, and the, the parent is in Jamaica. And the child said, look, I'm not sending my money to him or her. And then, God forbid, the, the parent fa passed away. The father or the mother passed away. And the child come down and say, okay, look, let me take the shame out of my high. Let me buy a casket. Let me keep the dead yard and, and bury him. And a number of persons are going to say, look, look how long the man there. Look how long the man there and want a panadol. And nobody stretched him uh, any money to go to the pharmacy to buy a pill for his headache. And the moment he died, here comes everyone running around to spend money. In, in that case, we have to also be, see, be, be, be careful how we reason along that line. Because if the man was not there to grow his children, when the children become successful, they are not going to want to pay him any much attention. So we have to also look into that. So when we say to ourselves then, as we go back to the, to the, to the argument before, paying your family taxes, was it a case where that parent was contributing to the child's development for the child to pay the taxes? We must also look into that. So when someone comes on social media and say, you know, I want help and um, my family is not giving it to me. We also look at, need to look at the relationship they were having before. Because if it's a relationship where the person wanted the help from you before and you didn't give it to them, then they're not going to give it to you. What if it's a case where you are the child of... Um, the, what if you are one of the siblings of the... Of, of that particular brother or sister but the, your father spent his time with you and did not spend any time with that particular child that child who is overseas who did not get any care from the father as you do who was in Jamaica with him then that child who is overseas might not want to help you because they're going to say look that, is, that my father was there taking care of you not me so why should I take care of you even though we are brothers and sisters. There are no more reasons people look at things, you know. All right? People look at it from a number of ways. I think it is for us to understand what is the reason behind not getting help from that particular person. I'm not sure if, I'm, uh, if I've lost you along the way. But when persons raise these arguments, we have to be very careful. So when you see a man not getting any help from, from a shivering overseas, ask the question then, was he there as a father? If he was there as a father who sacrificed, and we have seen this in a number of cases where the man sacrifices his entire life to feed his family and they grow up, um, be established and just don't care about him. Well, that, that is also part of a number of family. A number of family are facing that reality where the, the, the mother, um, she sacrificed all her time. She could have gone to, to, to college but because of the children, she didn't make those choices. She made the choice to take care of her family. And so she stayed and she feed them and she sent them to go to school and they are not successful and they do not care about her. That is also a reality. Now, in that case, when the mother is struggling or the father is struggling or both are struggling and need help, and those children, who oh, they have sacrificed their time in life to make better, are not paying them any attention, then we can say those children are very ungrateful and are not paying their family taxes. All right? So when, 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 I, when I hear these arguments, we first have to ask a question to ourselves. Then I wonder why. I wonder what happened. I wonder what is the situation. Before we jump to conclusions, it is always good to find out. So that's the reason why I said earlier that... I think it is going to get worse based on the amount of single parent home that we have. We're going to see more persons suffering and struggling in Jamaica, not getting help from children overseas because they were absent when the child was younger and needed help. All right? And yes, I go back to the point. There are a number of children who grew up in the same house with the same parents. And trust me, they make, it, they make it out. It doesn't have to be overseas, no. It doesn't have to be that they're in America. It doesn't have to be that they're in Canada. It doesn't have to be that they're in England or in the Caribbean or wherever it is. It could be that they're still in Jamaica, but are able to achieve things to... to, 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 to um, they can afford to buy things than their other siblings are, and they're not helping them. 
there are some family members who are like that. Who they, they're not helping you to be better. Or they're not helping you to be as good as they are. They want to see themselves on a higher level than you are. And in order for them to see themselves that way, they are not going to help you. You also have those family members. So it, it, is, a, it is a wide thing to deal with. You know? When we speak of um, uh, you want something and they rather to they rather to come and give you when you die. It is is a is a harsh reality. It's a harsh reality, but it is it, it can be looked at in so many angles. And what I have just discussed is just a, a few of the things we could possibly look at as to the contributing factors as to why um someone will want the help and can't get it from a relative. But it remains a sad reality that a number of persons are not paying their family taxes and a number of Jamaicans, a number of people across the world. Because if you go to Africa, you hear the same thing. If you go to the Americas, you hear the same thing. If you go to Europe, you hear the same thing. People are saying that, oh, yeah, the family overseas and they don't care about us. All right? So it is nothing unique to our culture in Jamaica. It is nothing unique to us as an ethnic group. It is nothing unique to anywhere at all. It is it's a reality that we are all facing, where some people are just not pay their family taxes. They get the break, they get the opportunity, and whether you treat them good when they were younger or not, when they get that opportunity, they just don't care. But let us close by thanking those who, even though your father was not there for you when you were younger, still see if you can reach out. Your mother may have walked out on you when you were younger, you go up with your father, Still reach out to your mother if you can. Your siblings may have gotten um, support from your father than you were. Still treat them right. Still see if you can help. Still to be of assistance to your relative. If you are overseas or wherever you are, um, in whatever economic level, if you have made it over those of your relatives, help them same way. You know, see how best you can extend a hand of appreciation and a heart of kindness. All right, see your best. Don't don't hold it against them. Um, maybe if you help them, it will bother their conscience more than you not helping them. Because maybe they're expecting you not to help. But when you help, you probably surprise them, and it it it, it put a um, such a feeling over their heart of regret and remorse to say, "Oh look, um, I did not treat this person well, and look at how well they're treating me." And it might burn their conscience. So, so sometimes you are doing good. Sometimes even hurt them more than you doing bad because they were not expecting. But surprise somebody today with something good. All right. God bless.